Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at some tech and EDC pouches from Alpaca. We've looked at some great gear from Alpaca on the channel in the past, like their Elements backpack and their travel backpack, which I looked at pretty recently. It's quickly become one of my favorites. I'll include links in the description below to those videos if you wanna check them out. Today we're gonna to be looking at some of their newer pouches. We have the Elements Tech Case Mini, the Admin Pouch, and we also have their Metro Pouch. So nice variety of sizes and organizational layouts here. I'm excited to talk about what it's been like to use these over the past month or so. I'll show you how I've loaded them out, talk through all the features, and I'll also talk about how they compare to some of the other similar items that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Before jumping in, I will mention that this is just a small selection of Alpaca's vast ecosystem of accessories. They have a ton of different pouches even beyond what I'm gonna be talking about in this video, so make sure to check their site out if you wanna see some of the other options that they have. And I'll also start off by just walking through some of the similarities between the three pouches and just to show off the different sizes uh, as they're all next to each other. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Metro pouch, the Admin pouch, and the Elements Tech Case Mini. You can see that the Tech Case Mini is about the size of the Admin pouch and the Metro pouch combined. And all of these have really nice X-Pack fabric. So it feels like something that's gonna be very durable. It helps keep the weight of the pouches down and it also feels like it's gonna offer a lot of weather resistance. On the Elements Tech case, you also have aqua guarded YKK zippers. So even more weather resistance, which is really nice to have. You also have aqua guards on the Metro pouch. And the Admin pouch has reverse coil YKK zippers, but they're not aqua guarded. So it feels like this might be more of a pouch that's meant to be inside of a bag versus the other two, which are maybe meant to be more exposed to the elements. Regardless, they all feel durable and you know they look great. They're offered in a few different colors. I have kind of the coyote brown for the admin pouch that's also offered in a black. Metro pouch I have in black. And then the elements tech case is offered in black, blue. I have the bright orange here, which makes it real easy to reach in and grab it out of a a backpack when I need to. And then the Elements Tech case has an additional benefit, which is the fact that you can combine it with uh, an included strap, it has some attachment points here, and actually use it as a sling bag or a shoulder bag if you wanna use it that way. If you arrive at your destination, pull this out of your larger travel backpack, you can convert it. It's also gonna be a good companion on a flight. So really love the versatility of all of these pouches. And I'll also do a few comparisons with other popular pouches. First up, the Elements Tech Case, which was the original pouch that I had from Alpaca. I've had this for a while. Really, really great pouch overall. You know, it's got accordion style layout. I've done an in-depth review for this. If you wanna check it out, I'll include a link to it in the description below. It also has the attachment point so that you can carry it like a sling bag. And then just showing off the size between the Elements Tech Case and the Mini, you can see that the Mini has still got quite a bit of space. The Elements Tech Case would just expand out a little bit further. It also has some extra accordion sections. So this one's got, you know, one or two, three sections here versus the Mini, which we'll, you know, take a closer look at in a little bit. Has less organizational options inside, but still pretty capable. And so if you don't have to carry as much or you wanna save a little bit of bulk, the Mini is gonna offer a lot of the same benefits as this larger tech case. And then the admin pouch, of course, is way smaller. So definitely one of the more popular options if you need some space from Alpaca. And then you also have the Air Slim pouch, which is one of my favorites. I use this pouch a ton, probably closest to the tech case Mini. The Slim pouch is gonna have a little bit of a more simple layout. It doesn't have as much built in. and. It's a little less rigid, which I kind of like, so it's able to compress down into tighter areas of my bags if needed. You also don't have the ability to add a shoulder strap, so it works more as a pouch, you can hang it. Uh, but size-wise, you can see they're both really solid, but this one is gonna be better if you don't want something that's as bulky. And then I also have the Evergood Civic Access Pouch One Liter, which is going to be a little bit closer to the Elements Mini. It actually manages to get pretty big when you fill it up. 
They have pretty similar dimensions. They're gonna take up about the same amount of space in a pouch. This one, of course, just has a slightly different layout as far as being more of a kind of a flat opening uh, case. So just to show off a few different size comparisons. Uh, but yeah, so the Tech Case Mini holds up just really well against all of those options. And so diving into the individual pouches, I'll start with the Metro pouch as it's the simplest and smallest. On the outside, first thing I'll call out is that this is compatible with uh, a lot of Alpaca's other bags. So it's meant to be able to clip onto the straps of their sling bags and backpacks. And then you have this sort of Velcro strap here. You can maybe place this on your belt if you wanted to. And so it's an interesting smaller pouch. It's got one zippered compartment on the outside that actually has a pretty good amount of volume. It's probably gonna be a good spot for uh, maybe your headphones if you're using AirPods. I currently just have one of my fidget toys in here and then a Gerber Dime multi-tool, but you know you do have some nice volume here, the orange lining. And then this is kind of a top loading pocket here. Might be a good spot for your wallet, your phone, you have a couple of slots on the inside and a, you know, kind of space in the middle for anything a little bit thicker. So I currently just have my AirPods in here. And then on the back, you have some slots and some elastic bands. It's black here, so it might be a little bit tricky to see, but a good spot for pens, uh, other dongle type accessories. I have a little adapter that I have for my SD card with my laptop. And then on the other side, you have a couple of slots that might be good as mentioned for credit cards, IDs, just have a couple of example credit cards to put in there. So pretty simple, smaller pouch overall. You know, this uh, was the type of thing I might have wanted to try to squeeze a GoPro into, but it's got these gussets. Um, but I can see how if you're somebody who just wants something smaller to clip onto your backpack or your belt, you wanna be able to reach down and grab something quickly, it might be an appealing option. Up next, we have the Admin Pouch, which has quickly become one of my favorites. I like that it's a kind of in-between size, so you know it's not too big, but it does offer enough space to hold a lot of the tech or EDC items that I wanna just toss into my bag. No attachment points on the back, just still that nice X-Pack fabric that I was calling out. I actually did a short not too long ago on how I load this out with some of my pirate-themed EDC gear, so that's still what I have in here. On the front, you have a quick access pocket going to be good for holding loose smaller items so I have some screwdriver bits there I have a little pirate coin and I also have a keychain and then I really like that this opens up fully flat kind of like a book and has a lot of internal organization for the tools and items that you know I might not carry with me in my pockets but that I still like to have in a bag from time to time and so a good variety of slots and pockets you have one here that's got a little bit more volume it's gonna be good for a multi-tool type accessory. I have the Peter McKinnon camera tool here. And then next to that, you have some slots that are also paired with a couple of elastic bands where I currently just have a pen. And then I also have a pocket knife. And behind that, you have another simple slot that might be good to hold a, a slimmer accessory, but you know, if you put everything into these slots, it starts to get really tight. So you kind of have to pick and choose how you load everything out. And then at the back, you have a taller uh, slip pocket, which is gonna be a good spot for a field notes notebook or maybe a passport. And then on the other side, another simple slot on the back where I currently just have a USB cable to charge the flashlight that I have inside one of these taller slip pockets. I have the Olight Arc Felt, which is one of my favorite larger flashlights. And then next to that, I just have an adjustable wrench. So. Really like the variety of options offered here. I had it very kind of EDC and tool focused, but would also be a great spot for tech accessories. And then the last pouch that we're gonna be taking a look at is the Tech Case Mini, which like I said earlier is reminiscent of the style of the larger elements Tech Case. On the outside you have quick access, zipper pocket. It's actually got a pretty good amount of space and depth, you know, about the length of my fingers. Apparently what I have in here is the cable for my laptop. And I also have the Peak Design mobile tripod that I've been using a lot recently. And then you have the zipper that opens up wide. I like that this has a self-standing design, so it's perfect for taking into the office and just placing down next to me and being able to reach my tools while I'm working. You have this larger area in the middle that's gonna be for your bulkiest accessories. I will mention that if you place anything too thick, it starts to get really hard and tight to close this, so I'd be worried about anything getting damaged. So. As with any of these pouches, it's gotta be a little bit strategic 
with how you pack it out. In the middle at the moment, I have a larger battery bank to keep my devices charged. I have a wall adapter from Anchor that charges my laptop, my phone, my tablet, whatever I need to. And then on the sides, you have a couple of slip pockets here. They have a nice elastic, durable material. So it's gonna be a great spot for chargers and cables. I have a lightning cable with the power brick there. And then next to that, I have my Samsung portable hard drive. And at the top, you have a little elastic band that's gonna be a good spot for a pen or a stylus. This is the pen that was in that other pouch. And on the other side, you have a zippered compartment that's gonna be good for smaller items that you don't want getting loose. I have a wired pair of headphones here, as well as an additional USB cable. On the inside of this one, you also have some simple slots. It's gonna be a good spot for memory cards maybe, or I would typically maybe hide an air tag in one of these compartments as they're kind of out of the way. Uh, so nice internal organization, just stays out of the way. And then on the back, you have a larger sleeve that actually has a pretty soft fleece lining. So it's gonna be a good spot for maybe placing your phone or something a little bit more delicate that you don't want getting scratched because my phone is in my pocket. I actually just uh, place some extra cables in here, but good that you have that section here if you have something that you wanna keep a little bit safer. So yeah, I really love the layout of this uh, organizer. I actually prefer it to the larger one as it offers some of the same benefits while taking up less space in a bag. I'm in general a fan of simpler organizers and I think this one does a great job of taking what worked in the larger one and just simplifying it a bit. And I really enjoyed using all of these pouches. Alpaca just has some incredible options, solid materials, really interesting designs. And if you're looking for you know, accessories that are gonna help you organize your stuff, make it easy to find, and just allow you to combine them in interesting ways to carry all of your stuff. And these are gonna be fantastic options to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out some of Alpaca's tech and EDC pouches over the past month or so. You can currently purchase these on Alpaca's site and I'll include links in the description below to the specific pages for each item if you wanna get a closer look at the functionality, the specs, and the pricing. If you have any questions on the pouches that I featured in this video or suggestions for similar items that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I'll also include links in the description below to some of the other great tech pouches that I featured on the channel from companies such as Air. They have their Slim pouch, which is one of my favorites. Uh, GORUX, WireDobs, the Evergood Civic Access pouch, one liter and two liter. I've done pretty in-depth reviews for all of those. I've also done some roundup videos on my favorite slim pouches that work for minimal travel. And I'll probably do a few more of that style in an upcoming video. So if you have any requests for that, definitely let me know. And I wanna thank you as always for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.